Hello, welcome to Battle Pad, where Natrakai Me tries to beat Engim Cotton. So it is late ish right now, but it is Monday evening, which is when this new stuff came out. That's like a great way to explain it. Okay, so we have some new pad announcements um, that came out mostly on the stream. That was at 6 Pacific, Monday, April 8th. Um, and we're going to talk about some of them, maybe not all of them, but some of them. So first things first is the general event is called Springfest. And there's basically some, a few things overall that we're getting. We're getting, first of all, 100 stones, magic stones for free, lovely, like one day login. Number two, we're getting three new tier fees and a token you can trade in to and pick any one of those three. Similar to how we got a token for Valkyrie and Athena Nod and Zeus Giga. Bam, three new things. Number three, we got a lot more new evolutions, like a ton, including Mega Wokens, some new, I think they're new, I don't know what they are, new Mega Wokens. Forget if we have new reincarnations, but definitely a bunch of new stuff. Um, is there anything else? Um, some new weapon assist. Oh, that's some great new weapon assist. And I think number four, which we might not talk about in here, is there's a new style of ranking dungeon coming. Not for all rankings, I don't think, but just there's a new. Ranking into style that makes it much easier to crown. In fact, I think it's guaranteed to crown if you can put enough stamina into it. Um, if you just keep doing enough. But let's talk about some of these things, and then I'm going to hop into pad, show you some of the new monsters, which got new animations, and also de do a demo of one of the new Mega Wilkins. So, let's get into it. We're probably going to spend most of the time talking about new monsters and evolutions, by the way. Um, let's see, 100 magic stones. You log in tomorrow, between tomorrow and some mid-May. Bam, 100 stones. Great. Amazing. That's like the most exciting thing. Um, number two, there's a Super God Fest that's happening starting this Wednesday. And it goes for a very... not a very long time. They split it up like psh, psh, like between two months, like a week at a time about. A little less than a week. Um, overall, uh, I took a look at the highlights on their other post. Um, which I'm probably not going to hop into that I think about. It. I wouldn't want to say... I want to say don't roll it. Number one. In either of them. That's my. I haven't looked at the rates yet because I'll, I'll take a look at the rates later. But assuming rates are like 33% for a GFE or a nice special prize, you know, top prize thing, um, as they normally are, I would say don't roll. Number one, we have Monster coming up. Number two, I think a better Super God Fest would be the ones. Um, we should be getting a Gung Ho collab Super God Fest. And it's probably better to roll on that because when Japan got that. Like, a half of the Gung-Ho monsters got Dark Evolutions, like the Gung-Ho collab monsters like Zeta and Riser and stuff like that. Um, and Elena and Karn Shindo, they all got Dark Evolutions, which um, are really good. They're actually, I think there's some top meta stuff in there like, that like maybe is on par or inches uh, a little bit above D-meta on one of them. So I'd probably roll in that because you also can't get those guys through trading, so maybe just wait for that, I think. But, and also Monster Hunter, and also the, in the future, Devil May Cry Shaman King that I'm still waiting for. <laughs> Cause I, I just like being, seeing new monsters, or new collabs. So overall I'd say probably don't roll in this one, unless the rates, for whatever reason, are like 40% for something good or something, then you can. But if it's just the typical like 33.3%, then I'd say pass on this one. Cause the new, um, GFEs, the new, they're, they're not that amazing from what I remember, but I don't know, we're reacting, so we'll see. Um, here's what I mentioned, you get one Fest exclusive for free, and you get to choose it if you log in any time between tomorrow and halfway through May. Um, yes, we'll take the, it's, these are the three new monsters. Uh, Ancient Dragonite, Echidna, and Hera. Except they're called Rex, Sarah, Luna. Mm. Um, okay, booty booty boop, what else, what else? It's an example of how to do it. There's a new one-time bargain thing. It's a, I think we got a similar one at a, at the last Gung Ho Super God Fest actually, where you could pay 85 stones and like get a free roll and a bunch of other stuff, uh, a free roll in a God like a Super God Fest egg machine and a bunch of things. So like, it's a little on the whale side, but you do get um, seven rainbow medals, which is actually crazy because oh I did forgot to mention this in the beginning maybe we're getting a voting thing again. We're getting another voting thing, where you vote for some GFE and we get to, um, you can buy it. Except with this, in this case, it'll probably be with rainbow event medals or some currency of event metal that you can trade rainbow ones for. 
that's actually pretty good actually seven of those is probably it's gonna be like half of that monster half the price of that probably or or more than half uh moving on oh here's what i was talking about so here's the monster exchange survey so basically you get to, you get to all you put you get to vote for your thing uh vote for any gfe i think it's probably any gfe or maybe there's other things i don't know it might be any pantheon too but i don't think you should not vote for pantheon stuff <laughs> Unless it's, you know, I'm not going to say it. Um, but you can vote for something, and then the monster with most votes gets put into the monster exchange. And I believe if we follow Japan's pattern, it'll be for this thing called Black Event Medals. And basically, I think you take, you can trade, it's like three rainbow event medals for one black medal. My exchange rate might be wrong, but it's multiples rainbows for one black one. Japan got Zella, and it costs five black medals. So I believe in the end they had to basically use 15 rainbow event medals to trade for Azela. Um, I don't know if that means... I don't know if it was ex that expensive because Zella is a 7-star GFE. Like, if we had got put it in like a 6-star GFE like Deep Meadow or something, if it would be fewer medals. Like, I don't know. It, they only got one thing, so like, I don't, I don't know how that works, but that's my guess. I'm guessing it was 5. Kind of like, you know how when you trade for 7-star um, monsters, it takes 5 seven star GFE's trade for and if you trade for so I'm thinking maybe maybe they'll give it to us for four if we vote for a six star GFE. Kinda of like our typical monster exchange. Anyways, I don't have an opinion of what you what you should vote for. It's so hard to think of like one thing that will compass for everyone. Last time you voted up for, for cotton and that's kind of what was the good choice for the server. Now I don't know how many people have cons and stuff like that, so like I don't need another con for I have three, I don't think I need another one. I love Yogg, I might vote selfishly for Yogg, but I'm not saying you should. I'm not saying I will do that or you should do that. I just it's hard to think of an opinion for this one, because I don't know the state of everyone's monster boxes, but con is a safe bet again, but anyways. We have this. Batapad has no official opinion about this. <laughs> about what you should trade for. And lastly, uh, I think lastly, they're doing the bonus, the best friend resets, the memorial egg machine resets, which is great. The one time bargain, all those get reset. Great, you can get a new best friend. You can always best friend me if you comment on this video saying, I'm gonna wanna, I wanna best friend you. Um, when is this, when is this maintenance? I don't know when this maintenance is, after 17.0. Anyways, if you say, I'm gonna best friend you, then I'll, and you put your like in game ID and your number and then you friend me, I will likely accept your friend request. Um, you don't have to best friend me, you know, pick, if you have a triangle to make with people, go make that. Uh, let's see, this is just the Memorial Egg Machine resets. They're like not that good anymore. I mean, they're okay, I guess. It's nice, it's free, so I can't really complain. Ah, oh, so many things. <laughs> Why is this one part so long? Oh, and lastly, there's version 17.0, which they didn't actually make a post about because I think they haven't fully like decided on. They're like they're leaving it open for like what the UI will look like exactly, but it's just some UI changes mostly. Um, in the monster, the way the way the main menu will look with the quest, like the dungeon, like I don't know, just the ch -ch -ch -ch, something. There's something. The main menu will look different. And some differences with the monster box. If you go watch the stream, it'll be there. So we're going to talk about what I wanted to use the bulk of the video for, and it is already... <laughs> how far in are we? Where is the recording? It doesn't say how long we've been going. Um, okay, well... It says we're recording, so that's cool. I have no idea how long this video is. I don't know where to see that information. But we'll just keep going on like it's recording. Um, okay, we have some new monsters. I think I might skip pretty quickly through these, except for the main important ones. So let's take a look. Okay, first of all, we have the new... We're going to talk about the three new GFEs. Seven-star GFEs, similar to Athena. Blah, blah, blah. Um, this is Divine Queen Hera Luna, based on good old Hera. Um, I can't zoom in. Oh, I can zoom in. Okay. So, Awakenings on this one is 3 skill boosts and 3 of those greater than HP, blah blah blah, cool. Uh, this one's 3 skill boosts and 3 less than HP, blah de, blah blahs. This one might be then okay on, uh, it's, I don't know, we'll see. Um, 
The active skill looks to be a 15% gravity, 15% true gravity, and make dark orbs. It's not really anything that special in my opinion. It's a pretty short inheritable gravity, but it's not a very large gravity. I don't think 15% will really cut through a lot of a lot of monsters resolves, which is probably for general content what you would want to use it for. It's not large enough to make use of like the cheesy strategies either. Uh, what, let's see, 2x to all stats for devils is pretty good. So it's overall times, it's like a 264 2. Um, we have better leaders, um, you have plus fi 5 move time, so I don't know, maybe if you're like a new account this would be good for you. Should be pretty easy to do. You can an orb skin too with hairs on them. Next we have Echidna. Well, this first Echidna is, it's fire, fire X, um, four killers, cool, reminds me of Ilmina kind of, Ilmina E killers. Um, this one has, loses the god killer but gets double VDP. This one might be an okay choice for uh, Barbara Julie or some some similar fire team uh, VDP if you need that. Although I personally don't think that, well, yeah, especially because there's two killers. Unfortunately, physical isn't the most like prevalent, but dragon is ultra prevalent, so at least it has that. Uh, it has a delay, like regular Echidna, and a plus two move time for three turns. That's not the worst. There's nothing super special about that. Um, let's see, leader skill. 4.5 extra fire, um, so it's a blob and attribute related um, leader skill. So a shield, and it ends up being 3 times 4.5, which ends up being a number I can't multiply in my head. 13.5, not that high. Same on this side. Yeah, I don't know. If I got this one, I'd probably make the, this one on the right. For the hairs, I'm actually not sure which one I would make. They're like the same to me. Um, the one on the left here is fine too. They're both not bad. Not a, not, not, none of them so far are great leaders. Or like amazing leaders. Um, next we have uh, Ancient Dragon Knight Rex. I think it's based off the Green Dragon Knight. Well, this one has four TPAs, and this one has two TPAs and two double seventies. Very reminiscent of um, Athena Non, I think. Athena Non, I think, has something similar. Am I lying? <laughs> Athena Non. <laughs> that I ha I own one. I just have literally never used it before. <laughs> Yes, it's similar to her. I was not crazy. Uh, let's see. Two turn um, max skill, so it's kind of Diao Chani, almost TARDIS E. You can use him on the new reincarnated Bastet team if you want to. Super reincarnated, which came out in Japan, but we haven't gotten yet. Um, or you can just use TARDIS on the team, that's fine too. Uh, let's see. It makes all hazards, including bombs, to wood. Um, apparently that's the first that we've gotten in NA. Gormagala has something similar, which we will get in Monster Hunter. And then plus one second. So it's like TARDIS with a uh, hazard change. Hazard removal, basically. Um, that's not bad. Uh, and he is a 2x HP, plus two seconds, six attack, one skill use. That's actually a really high multiplier. Like, that's just on the... For just the skill part. Um, so I guess you could get perfect damage control, I guess. I don't know. Like, like all your damage will be from that one. And I guess if you don't want to do that, I don't know. Times 144, attack, no recovery. Probably have to run something like e air to help you. Same on this side. Um, out of these three, none of them are like super like, like, OMG, like I need this, like, great leader or sub. Um... Best sub, Echidna looks relatively, like, if you don't have a fire VDP already, like, Baldin is an option, Suo, you don't have those guys, maybe you'll go for Echidna. Um, this guy is not the worst leader. I mean, his leader capability, like, strictly multiplier-wise, is the same as Athena, or as the Valkyrie Seal, and it's easier to build, well, it's, Dragon, it's, for dragons only, but dragons are much more prevalent than healers. So it should be... If you need a leader, this guy's okay. And if you have the pair of them, you can pop one of their actives every turn. Or you can just bring one TARDIS and, like, just use these guys as short cooldown base actives for other things. Who, as for who I'm gonna trade for, probably... Probably not Hera. 
I don't know. I personally can't think of anything I'd use her for at the moment right now. Uh, so I'd probably end up trading for Rex, maybe. But Echidna's pretty. Echidna I'd be more hyped for if she had the same leader skill as the Pixel Echidna, which has like the Vajriaxa style, like Hino style, extra attack. Um, but these ones aren't bad. The Killers might be useful for some ranking in the future, so I might end up going for one of those. You can probably also just hang on to your like thing until you need to trade it in. You can just hang on, to, hang on to the metal. I think that I'm not sure about, but if you can hang on to the metal, maybe just you can't decide. Just hang on to, onto it as long as possible before it expires. Oh, there's orb skins too. Oh, oh, fun! It's like the base forms of them. Okay. So, there's more things. Um, we have new evolutions. Those are the new monsters, the three new GFEs. Now you have new evolutions. Phew. Okay, oh, I really do hope I'm recording. It says it's red, so... I think it's recording, I just don't know. It doesn't have the time for some reason. <laughs> um... Let's take a look at some new evolutions. These ones I don't think are that important, so we're just gonna skim the first few. Oh gosh, there's really a lot of them. This is uh, for the non-awoken form of the Greek Roman 3, they got evolutions. Um, they're all okay. I don't really remember there being anything that's special. 3 skill boost is nice. This is when they maintain their, um, their attribute, uh, their color absorb void um, skill. They maintain that with these forms. The awoken form that becomes a no skyfall with board change. Um, this first one's... Okay, I don't really want to talk about it. It's pretty boring. Pretty big shields on them all, but needing three colors, specific colors, is pretty annoying. They're all looking to be similar... similar type leader skills, which means they're all not that interesting. Um, blob plus three specific colors. I wouldn't really use any of them as leaders, um, or anything like that. Yeah, they're not looking too great, but that's okay. It's fine. I, I remember people were saying Uranus is pretty handsome. Okay, so we're going on to some actually new stuff. That's pretty cool. Well, decently cool. New Mega Awoken Evolutions for GFEs. This is what that. This is what I'm always most excited for. Is new Mega Awoken for GFEs. Shamali, where are you? So we have four new ones. Uh, we have Ilm, Typhon, Paimon, and Dentalian. Uh, let's start with Ilm, because he's first on here. So, mixed, and I'll show all of these. I actually think I own all of these except Typhon, so I can show you them in my game after this. But, starting with Mr. Ilm, or Miss... I'm not actually sure which one it is. Uh, Ilm. <laughs> Fluffy Ilm. So the active skill um, became... I, we were hoping it would be a two-turn haste before, but it's not. We being the pad community generally. We were hoping it would be a two-turn haste with bicolor so it can be better for rankings. It became a spike with the bicolor board change. So, not the best for, like, speed in ranking dungeons, which is what Ilm is used for as a light bicolor in one of his common uses. Um, you tend to want those to have no additional effect or plus two haste for re-haste teams and, like, nothing else. Um, or I guess Ilmina with her true damage for some some things. Um, let's see. So leader skill, he is times 144 and 2x HP with shields. So it's like D meta but harder. You need to be for only devils. You have to have this skill clause and then you need to have link light orbs. Like it's a lot of stuff and it's not worth. Not I would not I would not lead with this. Unless it was for a ranking dungeon, like maybe, maybe, maybe. It'd be like an okay Illumina pairing for, I don't know. But you can just use Vajrioxa if you're going to do that, I think. Because Vajrioxa has that built-in follow-up attack, so I don't know. There might be some uses for him ranking-wise as a leader, but I think Vajrioxa could do those things. As his sub, he is a dragon killer with VDP, which is double VDP, which is cool. A decent light VDP. We have, not that there's, there's other light VDPs, but here's another one for you. Um, uh, he has three skill boosts, which is cool. I think if I ever do need him for a ranking dungeon as a sub, because um, let's say I'm trying to run like, I have three Ilms and Ilmina. Um, so the skill boosts are tend to be useful for rankings. Um, so maybe if I need a monster with three skill boosts or one of my Ilms to have more, I might make this one. But until then, I'll leave him in its current form. 
Um, yeah, not the worst. Um, I don't know. It's kind of middling for me. I'm kind of like, the leader is, eh. Um, but in overall, the base form still has a lot of usage for rankings. And for, like, if you use Yogg to farm things or stuff like that. This one, it's kind of a sidestep. It's not really, I don't know if I, you don't like, it's not like, oh my gosh, you have to make this. Next we have Dantalion, who looks crazy <laughs> in his thumbnail. Um, his active skill is pretty boring. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's pretty similar to his other one, I think, which does the same thing with a haste, I think it was. Uh, let's see, leader skill is seven combo. He's a double shield type, and you need two heal combos. Two heal combos, I'm like immediately turned off. Um, it's not the strongest multiplier. It's that same one as that last monster. I remember we did this already. 13.5, so not the strongest. Um, I don't know. Not my not my favorite. Not my favorite. He does have double 7 combos. We need a fire double 7C. You can use that. He'd be okay on Barbara Julie and Sheet. Well, Bar he'd be okay on Barbara Julie. Because, um, you know, he is fire water. But the problem is the heal part might overwrite your water orbs, um, and that would be a problem. <laughs> uh, or the fire part to you, it might break your activation, so I don't know. I'm probably gonna not... My dance sounds like trade fodder. I own one, and I'm... This is not one of the more exciting ones. He's probably the least exciting one. Moving on to the two of them that are probably on the more exciting side. Um, it's, one is Paimon. Well, I have to show you the animation for he's it's so much it's so fun um, the new animation uh, Paimon is his active skill instead of making three hearts and Three lights and a haste it is now makes two crosses one of light one of dark which ties into his leader skill, which is 4x attack and reduces damage when HP is 50% or more so kind of like Edward Elric style above HP unconditional uh, conditional shield and multiplier and then also the 3.5x attack for each cross of light and dark orbs. So he's a colored cross with two color options and really, really fast scaling. Like 3.5 for each. I was playing with him and he, I'm actually going to do a demo of him. But like even with one cross, your damage is fine. Like with one light cross and the right subs, you end up getting like 10 to 14 million. If you get two, it's like bonkers. And like three, three crosses is just like insane. But I'll try to show you all of those later um because awakenings actually do suit his leader skill the 80% or more hp enhanced <coughs> um because you're trying to be above 50% hp anyways if you're above 80 then you just get like times it's like having three tpas basically for nothing like you don't have to do anything except be above a certain health level threshold so threshold so he's not like great for endgame content because you it's a piece about as tanky as ed is which can cause some issues for harder hitting dungeons, but I think I might pl be playing him just for the challenge of it, for the fun of it, and for seeing those huge numbers just on non end game end game comment, just like my regular content. Um, he might be like my try to have fun, find something interesting to lead with leader. Next we have Typhon, who is has the same multiplier as Ilm on paper actually, but stop with his actual skill first. So. Same four color board change with hearts and then a dragon spike. It's fine. It's nothing that special. 2x HP for dragon type, 6x attack with um, six combos, and then linked heal orbs. I don't know. It's, just, it's fine. Four linked heal orbs isn't the worst, and you might be doing that a lot anyways when you're trying to heal um, because he's a no recovery, high HP type leader. So you probably want to run air or something or mel. And you can just, whenever you heal like that, you get a shield. So it's pretty it's pretty decent. Actually, neither of those will work because you're not dragon knives. <laughs> but you get the idea. Um, heart TPAs is probably a good way to go for his healing. Um, overall, it's not as good as D-meta. The multiplier for one is not as high, the attack. But it's D-meta level, D level tanky. So there's that. I don't have a Typhon anymore. So I cannot demo him, unfortunately. But I think he's one of the ones people were moderately excited about. Um, let's see, double 7C with double killer, cool. Not bad. Uh, let's see, so now we have some other things. These are just the um, Gemstone Princesses got weapon assists. Unfortunately, they're not that good. Like I had wish like they had conferred one of their 
Um, one of, like, confirmed the awakening that applied to their gemstone. Like, if Carrot had given a skill boost, that would be amazing. But no, they just give some HP recovery. It's not bad because you, like, never use them as subs anyway. So you might as well, you, like, if you need to use it, just make it and you get some flat stats for your monsters. Um, but it's not nothing too game-breaking at all. Now, another exciting thing is that the three um, three other 7-star GFEs that we had before all got weapon assists. So, Valkyrie, Athena, Zeus all got weapon assists. The first one, which is the most exciting by far, is Valkyrie. <laughs> this, it, in fact, it's probably the most exciting evolution and new monster out of all the ones that we're going to talk about today, is Valkyrie Seal, who has a weapon assist that gives a balance killer and an attacker killer. That is insane. Like, for rankings and farmings, conferring two killers, that's, like, never happened. Well, that's not true. There's, like, double evil Magikos, but, like, who wants that? Like, double enhanced killer, like, that doesn't matter. Like, like giving both of these is crazy, um, and I think it'll have um, plenty of applications in the future for ranking and stuff like that. Um, so, if I ever need to, I'll probably end up swapping mine to this form, even, even though I only have one, just because I have a lot of other leaders besides Valkyrie Seal that give similar mul or better multiplier, and I don't use mine that much to begin anymore. But she's super exciting. Great, great, great utility. Moving on, we have, um, this is Zeus Giga's Sickle. He confers four Light Rose and Unbind ability. I like the Unbind ability part. The four Light Rose is, I'm neutral about, it's fine. Um, for rankings that might be useful, like if you need to make something unbindable and use rose for like your style points, that might be useful. Um, yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's not bad, not the worst. Um, there's not, yeah, yeah. I don't have a Giga, so it doesn't matter for me. Lastly, we have Athena, who gives a TPA and two blind resists. That is relatively lackluster. We have plenty of monsters that give TPA assists already. Uh, so I don't know. It's not like her active skill is that good either, so I don't know. This one, I'd probably leave her in her regular form. It probably has more use for you than this. Um, you can just use some other T. There's like so many things, like Claymos, Olays, and like Weld, and like a bunch of other things give TPA, so just use those, <laughs> I think. Um, and for resistance bind to blind, you can just get an Arg Hoopa or something for Monster Hunter uh, at the lowest rarity, so it's not so bad. Yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of things that don't really matter too much. Uh, a bunch of farmable descend monsters had active skill reductions, uh, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm gonna skip most of these. Oh, let's look at these guys, because I know Shuman was and Yo Yu were used in rankings before. Uh, this is the bed and it's okay. Here we're off. Wait, 501e and. No, it's okay. No. This, they got some new awo awakenings. Let's do a quick skim. So far, looking relatively uninteresting. Ooh, Zeus and Hera. Oh, third. Oh, that's good. A third auto recovery. Just because um, this is Kirichi's. Uh, it's nice to have more auto heals for. Kirichi's, that's relatively helpful, I think. Cool, good job, Zeus and Hera. These guys, this, nope, nope, nope. Does any of these do anything cool? Oh, random. She's in here, she's not a descend boss. It's TPA, it doesn't matter. Don't trade for her, or don't buy her with MP. <sighs> Let's see. Gotta go to guard break. Huh. Sorry, I'm just silently looking through. Azathoth's got a guard break, that's pretty cool. It's, 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 if you have max skill one of him for your rainbow teams, it's not bad. Kamel got blind or bind resist. No 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 one uses those anyways. <laughs> Heron Nyx got two time extends, which fully <laughs> unnecessary. I mean, I guess it's nice, but her as a leader, she gives you like 10 seconds and her leader skills so not necessary. So you got team HP, that's fine. Zeus, ooh, Zeus first got time extends. Great for rankings and PSI issues. That's a good one. Hexasian got some um, resist. That's not bad if you happen to use one of your Yusuke teams. Um, let's take a look at... Um, 
Aquila, actually, because Aquila's used... Oh, just one more TPA. That's not bad. She's used a lot for rankings as well. And Esothoth, for some reason, got more attack. Oh my goodness, there's super awakenings! There's so many things! Games, 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 games. Oh my goodness, there's so many things. Are we just gonna... Oh, some, there's some... Oh, all the... All the radar dragons got guard break and stuff. Okay, that's fine. Skip, skip, skip. I'm going for, like, the ones that were all interesting to begin with. Um, oh, a man got some. That's cool. 7C is good for him. Uh, what else? Where's... Did I skip anyone who's good? I don't think I did. Come on, Zeus first. Oh, give me... Oh, does Zeus first already have one? Who Machine going on gets, uh, Rose. That's fine. The bounce kill is probably what you would use for him. Uh... Oh, Athena Helios got some stuff. That's fun. Uh, Yo, you've got another balance killer. That's pretty cool. She even got a healer. The, these guys got killers. That's cool. Um, Verse got resistance to bind. I'm not mad at that. Another TPA will make pre be pretty good too, I think, for rankings and things. And Keela got resistance to bind as well, which is pretty nice. Um... Machine Noah is fine. Odysseus got resistance to bind too, which is nice. And another L. Okay, there's a lot of things. So, let's actually hop in game now. And I can do some demos of some new things. So one thing I, that I don't think that was in here that's pretty cool actually, um, that I think a lot of you guys will be fans of. Sorry, the music is way too loud. Um, that I think a lot of you will be interested in is... Let's go find it. We have... Animated Fluff. Look at this. Oh, she's so cute. She made butterflies. And this one's maybe even prettier. This is Animated White Fluff, which people don't use as much. The red one is more used by far. Look at her, she's so fluffy. And she made writing! Look at that, okay. So basically, Ilmen Evolution. I didn't know she had two tails. Does this one? Oh, she does! Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I did want to show you the new Mega, um... The new Mega, um, Awoken Evolutions for the GFEs that I have. Their animation. So first, let's search out Dantalian. I know I have a Dantalian somewhere. I don't remember what for. You know what? MP. We'll go by MP. Dantalian, Dantalian, Dantalian. Here you are. This is the new Dantalian. He looks wild. He looks pretty evil. It's interesting. Um, which I don't know which where his, which one his real face is. His freaking ghost coming out of him. Okay, this is the new Dantalian. There we go. Next, let's find the new Ilm. Where's my Ilms? There's an Ilm. Here is the new, is Ilm a girl or boy? Ilm is a girl, Ilm, Ilm is a girl. So Ilm is like Ilms, they're both sisters. The art looks kind of harder to see the detail of in this one. Then the, oh, he's doing a Kamehameha. Oh, look at that, orbing explosions. So this is the new Ilm. Watch him flap his big wings. Ilmuna is prettier. What can you do? Sorry, Ilm. It's just the cold facts. Cold hard facts. Um, and lastly, let us, let me show you the new Paimon. And I'll show it to you in my team because I actually made a team for him. Her. Him. I don't know if this is a girl guy either. I have no I think it might be a girl. And Paimon is the best because the hat changed look. He has a bear hat, which is similar to his uh, one of the or one of her other hats, and a top hat. Oh, isn't that so cool? It's hat with a mouth, which is I think there's a bunch of mouths in in Paimon's other art. Let's see what other hats and a giant crown, way too big for the head. Um, keep going. Is there one more? And back to the bear. 
So that's Paimon. So I think it's a pretty fun animation. But let me hop into a dungeon and do a demo of this Paimon. This team I just kind of threw together based on some recommendations from... I looked just at a Game 8. This might not be the best team. I just saw this sim I made a similar team to Game 8's template. Um, you basically want to make color crosses with dark light. Karin Kanzuki is actually a really good sub because she also has a bunch of those greater than 80% HP awakenings and she makes a cross of light orbs with her active skill. Light Con is just my um, FUA. This is in case you need a VDP, the evil Ryu. Um, you can VDP dark, that's fine because you can make dark crosses and light crosses and it's all fine. And the Nay is just for um, the board change. I think a light Nay would be better because light Nay has the heals, but this is fine. It's perfectly fine. Let's see if we can hop into a dungeon. Um, I'm gonna hop into one that's like mid challenging. So maybe challenge level. Um, I don't know what's in seven. This might be too hard, but this might be over my head. But we will try it out. Let's give this a shot, shall we? I really hope I've been recording this whole time. <laughs> okay. Got some poison skyfalls. Um, so we have five dark orbs here. Um, I might as well try to stall somewhat, just because we could use some more. There. So that's with time sixty. This dungeon probably isn't that hard, but um, let me see if I can get two crosses and show you the damage output. Hmm. I'm also not amazing at color crosses, so forgive me. Case in point. So that's with two crosses. You can see the Paimon gets like 60 million, and the car the Karin probably got more than him, actually. Um, that stupid orb board lock here, which sucks. Uh, I have no idea what's in this dungeon, by the way. Just kind of randomly popped in. So this team might be terrible for this, but we'll see. The heals are decent. The HP is pretty low. Uh, just because um, there's no HP multiplier. I don't have anything with huge HP. I brought the Ryu trying to increase her team HP and it increased it somewhat, but not a ton. But the heals are pretty good overall. The poisons, though, will be an issue, I think. Um, no, I Jesus crossed. Oh, well, it might kill anyways. Okay, well, the Jesus cross killed. <laughs> That's funny. This is probably a really weak dungeon. Nope. That is not good at all. Those are going to blow up because of that, aren't they? Yeah, they are. This is for combos. This, I don't think, will actually help. So I'm not going to pop that. I'm going to pop this, get more heals, because I foresee some issues with coming soon. Yeah, it's just... Do that. Here are some dark orbs. Look, it's not going to kill though. Mm. Did not kill. We can pop. Ooh, the orb block is not fun. What do you do? Nope. We'll just... Oh, let's just try this. I actually don't remember where they make them. They didn't make enough of either color, no! It's fine. With a dungeon like this, we should actually be able to stall through some of it. Don't kill me, please. Nah! 
Okay. Let's, we can cross with this for sure. Sorry, I knocked the mic just now. Ooh, we should do VDP too. Oh, everything is locked. Okay, let's see if we can do this with eight seconds. Already looking like we're not gonna get it, but you never know. Nope. That's okay. We're stalling, we're stalling for actives. Let's just pop this. Make me what I need. It's okay, I guess. As long as we can cross like one thing, we ought to be a okay. Oh, I'm so bad at crosses. That's okay. See, I was not gonna do it, but that's okay. I'm just gonna show you. I think I'm not gonna be able to show you what the power of three crosses is, but just imagine. It's just the two cross times nine. It's just like that. So let's actually do um, the Paimon again, just to make our lives easy-ish. Uh, actually, not that easy, because this board is kind of weird. <laughs> this is so sad. Okay, we got this. It's not a problem. Except it kind of is. Yep, it's a problem, because I'm bad. Okay, please don't kill me, please. Please don't kill me, please. Let's try this out, I guess. Mijinkaku! There. See, look at- let's look- let's like look at- I don't know. Like, the damage is even that high? I don't know. Like, I don't even know if we're above- I think we might be below 80. Let me check if we're below 80 with this. We might have been below 80. 28169. If we were, that would be insane, because if, if we had more HP. Oh gosh. 28. Yeah, we were below 80, and Paimon was already doing like 60 million. So, like, imagine if he had all his stuff. I think. I don't know. He. Anyways, that's a Paimon demonstration. He's. Pretty fun to use, a little weak to time debuffs apparently, but he seems, he's fun, he's fun, I enjoy. Anyways, it's a long video, I just want to show you all this new stuff, let me know what you're most excited for. Um, again, I'd probably say don't roll in the Super God Fest, save for other things. For your voting, I have no idea, <laughs> I'll probably, uh, I'll, I'll, if I have a more formed opinion later on, I'll let you know, but it's kind of hard for me to generalize for everyone, like, what is good for everyone, like, I have no idea. Um, for your tokens, if you can't decide what you want, save it till the last minute. I'm probably going to go for either um, the green one or the red one, probably not the dark one, but I'll let you know when I do. Um, and you can let me know if you want to best friend me in the comments and put your put your like in-game name in there because your YouTube names and in-game names are not always the same. Anyways, that's it. See you guys later. Goodbye.